What's happening, everybody? We are back. We had busy seasons. Sorry for the wait. What's going on, everyone? I'm out here with a good friend of mine, Captain Dylan Bryan. What's happening, y'all? AKA Captain Dilber, AKA Captain Dill Pickle. <laughs> Dill and I actually went and got our captain's license together at the same time and both yep. studied together. So we're on the B&M, an offshore boat that he runs also out of Bud and Mary's. And by the way, ladies, oh, he's God. a single captain here, so single and ready to settle down. So uh, give him a shout. So we're here doing some summertime snapper slapping. I like it. Yeah, the mangroves should be biting in the shallow water. We're gonna chum them off the structure and kind of see what happens. It's, it's later, all the charter boats went in, so we chum yeah. them up right. It looks like it might happen here. Pennies from heaven right there. Pennies from heaven. All right, he's going with a pinfish. I'm going with a sandy key. Let's see what we got. So the bite was almost instant. As soon as he dropped down, first drop. There he is. Look at that rod. Dude, that oh, is fun, ain't it? That's nice. That's how you have a good time there. I think it's the target. Look at that. There sure is. Gray snapper. Mang. I like it. Delicious. That's the stud there. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam. Cool. Longer we sit, hopefully, the bigger they'll get. There they are. Whacking that pin, though. They're, they're picky. <laughs> Whacking that pin. There he is. There we go. I like that. Yeah. I think we're going to let this guy get a little bigger. But, man, he chewed on that pinfish? Good God. The bold mang. I like it. Oh, he's tight. Ah. Oh, 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 nice oh. mang. Shine big on him. A couple of them following him up, yeah, too. Yeah, Look yeah. at the breeders. Try and see if... Uh, it's kind of cool. Try and see if he's going to cough up that, that dinner. There he is. There he is. Came back All for that right. pin. I'm going to go ahead and just release this one, guys. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let me know if you need a net, Bean. Oh, no, we're going to flip this bad boy. Yeah, that's a good one, though. It's a nice one. Yeah, for sure. That one can go home with us. Look at that. <laughs> is that what you call him, a booter? <laughs> oh, yeah. About as big as my size 13 EFC boot. Hold on. Size 9. Size nine. Look at that, see? A little That's bit a bigger than the size nine. <laughs> I like it. That's a good fish right there. Oh my God, that's the one we're waiting for. That's that bite we're looking for. I like that. Oh yeah. That is what we're looking for right there, folks. That's, a, I'm gonna go for the flip. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the flip. Whoa! <laughs> On the bean pole, I like <laughs> it. That, that is what we're looking for there, folks. Look at that stud. On light tackle. Now that's a booter. Oh, dude, that's that's double wide, you know? Oh, I can't even get my hand around them. Look at that. I like that. That's a beautiful snapper right there. On light tackle, such a blast. And, uh, you know, we're, we're having fun out here. Like, we're not even keeping most of these fish. A lot of times we're catching them, we're releasing them, and that's really cool, too. You that's know? what it's all about. You don't got to kill them all. You know, we're just getting enough for dinner. So one of my most favorite things to do is fish for mangs. All right, guys, I got sick of watching these guys catch fish, so I'm gonna show how it's done. I got a little sweetie, little pinfish. We're gonna drop them back, see what happens. Boom. Good luck. Oh, there he is. 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 Get him, girl. There he is. <laughs> It's so impressive every time I see that rod bend like that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good rod. Good one. I love it. We're going to bow flip this one. Look at that, guys. I like it. A little chunky monkey. A little chunky monkey. Look at that. And I get gray snapper, mangrove snapper, food staple. I love a rada. Beautiful little babies. Love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> he just got solid on you for a sec. No time to waste on the carnage. What? Carnage three? Oh, little look at Grupa. that. Huh. That's a Nassau. Look at there. 
A little Nassau grouper here, guys. You can see like the markings on his eyes. Really cool little finlets. Huh. How big do these get? These can get, you know, these can get 15, 20 pounds when I've seen them. Um, a lot of times they're a little bit smaller. They're heavily targeted. They're, they're not the brightest fish, you know, so the spear fishermen and stuff like that, they put a good whack on them. All right. Yeah. What's the smartest grouper? Smartest grouper? Hmm. Probably black groupers. They know where to be, you know, where they can get away. You and know? we've they, got got yeah. by some of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Don't give them much of a chance, though, on this bad boy right here. Oh, boy. I like that. Oh, I just got macked. This might be a little nicer one here. Nice one. Might want to get the net for this one, Bean. All right, here we go. We got the little bit of lighter stuff on this one. <laughs> there you oh, go. that's a monster. Look at that. There we go, look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Jumbo. That's the one that puts a snapper. Snapper. <laughs> I like it. Barely hooked. I let this fish eat for a while, too. You ever find yourself doing this, you know, and you're just missing them, missing them, you know they're there? Honestly, just let him have it. I thought he was going to have it choked down. So the cool thing is, you've got a bunch of these things. You really don't have to kill every one. This is one of the bigger ones out of all the ones we're catching. You know, it's always good. There's a breeding female. Just let him go. The whole idea is, you let the big ones go. We'll have this for years to come. And honestly, fill the box, let a few go, and it's a little bit better for you. It was time to switch a reel over to the mini rod. That is, that is not a pinfish. I mean, that's not a uh, mang. I don't know what it is, but it's not a mang. That's a grouper. I got a grouper on. Or mutton. It's the same drag, same reels, other rods, so it's not a mang. If it is, it's like a, a giant. One. Yeah. But it's, I don't think it is. I think it's a grouper. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, oh it's going to be mutton snap up, buddy. You think it's the mutt? I think so, man. It's acting mutton ish. It didn't go in a rock. If it was a grouper, he would have found a rock. It is a mutt. Or is it a giant mang? It's a giant mang, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this. dude, it's an absolute monster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude. It's the biggest one you might <laughs> catch all season, baby. Dude, is that the, like, not the biggest mang you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> it's a giant. That, oh, dude, oh my god, the carnage, holy cow. Hey. I was like, I don't know what it is, it's not a mang, job, though. Dude. That's a giant. I was like, I don't know what it is, but it ain't a mang. All right. He's like, no, nah, I'm a mang. Dill's tight, too. Dill is tight, too. Yeah, but not to that. Dill's like, I don't even want to pick, pick your fish up and put it next to mine. Let's see. We're going to finally see. find out who's this bigger, Bean. Okay. You know what's funny, folks? Is this is actually a keeper size mang. It really is. But look at that. That was actually pretty cool. That was actually a keeper. I mean his head is like the size of that. Well, Dylan, you put me on my personal best mang, I gotta say. I like it. I wouldn't have airway or it on the bean pole. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. that might be the biggest one I've ever seen caught here on my boat as well. Look Good job. That. Look at that, huh? I mean, it's a 36 inch rod. Thing's almost as long as a rod. Look at that. But the beam pole laid a hammer down on him. He didn't have a chance. We got the uh, Authority 4500 20 pound test. Biggest bang I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry, buddy, but you gotta come home with us. Mwah. You can't tell me to do that twice. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs>
So we shifted gears and focused on catching some big deep water muttons. Yeah, in the summertime, the muttons, the mangs, kuberas, a lot of these snappers are spawning in the summer. Here we go. That's oh, him. Boy. That's him. Don't oh, cup boy. it. Oh my God. What is this, guys? This is Dude, him. Crank. Jesus Christ. That's fine. Let him run it out for a Ready? second. Ready? Oh, One crank. Still running. I know. Just do it. Trust okay. me. One crank on him. Still running. This is so Still tight. running. Still running. Still running. One crank on him. Turn him. I'm trying. I'm trying. This thing is huge. What is this? Looks good. Go ahead. There we go. Now we got it up here. Cam, when I see lead, I'm about to give you a shout. All right, yeah, I'll come up and get the lead. Nice and easy. Don't want to get too excited. A lot on the line here. Might even just be able to hand line them up, too. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like she's kind of starting to float up. I like that. I do like it too. Yeah, that mutton kicked my butt. I won't say that. And I'm pretty strong, but that'll give you a fight to remember. Big butt. Good oh, job. Yeah. Look at that thing. Woo. In the boat. Look oh, at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's a real one there. Oh my God, Dylan! High five! Look at that. Good job, girly. That's awesome, man. Hanging tight with him. All right. I gotta say, on the slow pitch carnage fathom combo, high retrieval but super sensitive, and it worked out. It was a fun fight. We were successful. Beautiful mutton snapper on the BNM. Yeah, so I've caught some muttons on the bean pole and nothing in 200 feet of water. Had to do it. When the opportunity strikes, you gotta strike back. And we knew it could, it had the backbone to handle it. For sure. That's him. I'm dropping it back. That's him. Got him on. That's him. Oh man, he's that's a good run too. That's a good run. I'm gonna let him run it out. I'm gonna let him run it out. That's definitely uh, the signature mutton run right there. Look at the braid that he's just spraying away. I mean, we got tight, tight, tight tension on them. We're good, we're good. Just little pumps on the little rod. I like That's it. That's all it is. Oh, he wants, to, he wants to go again. Oh. Folks. Oh, he wants to just run. He wants to go. He wants to go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Picking on me. Picking on me because I got a little rod. What's wrong with you? Why are you picking on me? Dude, he's still running. He's getting bigger. He just made a turn. Keep going on him. Just trying to get every turn that I can. And folks, if you want this bean pole, I still got plenty for sale. I got a conventional on this one. Saw that big man we call in the spinning reel earlier. I got the uh, Pen Squall 2. I got the 20 level wine on this. Which is great. I don't have to worry about level winding does it for me. Fits just nicely on this bean pole. 
made out of pure carbon fiber, so it's handling this big fish in deep water. Folks, this is real sport fishing right here, okay? This is real sport fishing right here in the sport fishing capital. We got a big mutton and over 200 feet of water on with a rod that's less than 36 inches. A true mini rod, folks. A real mini rod, all right? Here we go. I like it. Mutton from the deep. I think it's the one we're looking for. Looks like he's kind of starting to float up a little bit. Yeah. Like Bean said, we're in 200 feet. And these fish is something you kind of want to finesse. It's not a, it's not a super battle. We love the clicker. Hmm. Second favorite sound. And then you know what? As we got, got to hear that good run, we're going to turn that clicker off. Might as well. That first fish, y'all didn't get to hear how hard he was running. Wanted you guys to hear how these fish make tremendous bottom runs. Such a fun fish to fight. Top five favorite fish. Beautiful, delicious, great fight. Yeah. Oh, and folks, this one's actually a, a true giant. Definitely a big one. This <laughs> is definitely a true giant right here, folks. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, oh, there he is. Look at that mutt. I like it. On a bean pole. This is just some summertime snapper slapping right there. That's great fun. I mean, it made tremendous bottom runs. That is a beautiful fish. One of my favorite to eat. Like Good I job, said, guys. top five favorite fish. Absolutely. Look how pretty that one is. Big mutton snapper here on the B&M. We're in Isla Mirada. We're right next to Bean. He's on the same dock. He's in the guide dock. I'm down a little bit by the barn. That's what we can do. We're five miles from shore. That's right. It's kind of cool. Evening time, nice and cool. I love to see it. Great tackle, that's for sure. Hey, from our mating days to our captain's license days to full-blown captains, I mean, hey, what a life, right? It's kind of cool. It's crazy how it works out. and. Wouldn't have it any other way. And you know what's the beautiful thing about this fish is this one fish could feed up to like five people. So this is all we need. We have a lot of friends coming down for a 4th of July weekend, and we're just going to go home with these two and a couple mangs, and we're going to feed a lot of people with it. Absolutely. It's a beautiful 30 and a half. 30 and a half. That was an inch and a half off. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your participation and your sacrifice. We're going to enjoy you very much. I'm going to leave your friends and family alone. Ceviche time. Roll tape. Astrid ceviche never disappoints. Oh yeah. Always hits the spot, especially in the summer. 
Special thanks to Captain Dylan Bryan, one of the first friends I made at Bud and Mary's. It was great to get on the water with you. And if you want to get on the water with him, contact him. He could definitely show you a good time offshore. Until next time. All right, I just got oh, bit boy. there. Oh, I must have missed him. Common occurrence. Oh man, Tile my pinfish fish just got smoked. I'm sorry to interrupt. Get him. <laughs> oh, and he smoked it right off the hook. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's right. We're so used to letting everyone else fish that. Sometimes we get a little rusty. Trying to get that pin to the bottom. Oh, and there he is. He is in someone's mouth. There, oh my God. It's all right, buddy. I gotta say, if a pinfish got to be like 200 pounds, it would be the scariest fish in the ocean. <laughs> it would be pretty scary. I mean, they are like little saltwater piranhas. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try it. Oh, this is harder than it looks. Oh, and he just, he just I like it. The, the swing and a miss here. And he took my pin. He said, thank you for the sacrifice. Dylan, Dylan got a chunk missing from that snapper, and we let that snapper oh, go. Oh, yeah, the little snapper's gill plate got me. You know, just got past the callus a little bit. I'll cry off camera for 20 minutes, and I'll he's, be all right. He's definitely, uh, he's definitely telling his buddies, that we let that snapper go, ironically. I was like, you got a lot of heart. Let him go. What is he telling his buddies down there? He's like, dude, totally got that sucker up there. Hey, gave them the middle fin, that's for sure. Definitely gave him the peck fin. We don't promise our bait will catch fish, but they'll die trying. The one thing we remembered from that is that the answer is always two prolonged <laughs> and one short. Two prolonged and one short blast is That's, the answer for it all. That was the answer for most. <laughs> Mang, I love fishing for mangs. No. Well, you don't like that? It's cheesy. Is it? Yeah. It's cheesy? I thought it was cute. No, you guys think it's cute. No. Let's give that part. We don't need to have I that part I love catching mangs. <laughs>